I'm at Freeport High School, and this room here is called the Zen Room. I asked a couple students, what kind of things stress you out? It's really chaotic sometimes in high school. Being a senior and a junior, we have typically harder classes, AP classes, so I think the stress of those classes and performing well for college and your parents and your teachers. That's on top of the pressure of social media, social anxiety, and language barriers that new Mainers experience. In addition, we have some new Mainers who have joined us, and this has been an awesome space for them to come and just take a language break. And it Guidance counselor Liz Pierce says the school wrote a grant with RSU 5 Education Foundation and received $2,000 to purchase yoga mats, meditation cushions, crafts, and a TV for the space. A lot of students come into us on a daily basis, you know, with anxiety and panic, and we're, we just thought, what can we do to be proactive? Students use the Zen room during a lunch or study period. Mary Breyer says she enjoys rock painting. And I think it's really a special component of our school and makes us unique in that way that we have one. The Zen Room had to be closed for a year and a half because of COVID, but students like Katie Murray are happy it's back open. It can be very overwhelming to just go from quarantine at home by yourself to jump right back in school, surrounded by everyone. So I think this space really allows you to reconnect with yourself. Principal Jen Golko says skills students learn in the Zen Room are skills they can use outside of school and in their adult life. There are stresses that are just going to be a part of their life, and it's about how do we manage those. Inhale, rise. Students will continue to breathe in Mind your and breathe out to get through high school. I feel a lot better once I leave. I feel zen. <laughs> Reporting in Freeport, I'm Talia Clark for WMTW News 8.